folks thank you for tuning in this is bill with cleveland handyman bringing you yet another video we're walking a fence line today and this is a split rail fence typically pressure treated just like any uh any picket fences or any usually decks that are built and you'll see uh, a yard a beautiful yard here in what south uh, east cleveland metro cleveland area and um old farmhouse maybe these were put in 30 years ago wow could be even longer i don't know but um you'll see there was <laughs> uh there was one right here there's a post here there's a post here and then you'll see the line and then as you s visualize there's i don't know there's maybe 20 posts that are out and this is hate to say it but this is just the nature of maintenance uh any type of weathering uh you know they, they last a long time you know 20 20 plus years um but then you 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 start to notice that uh see the wiggle the wiggle means that these should have been put in the concrete base and probably from water this backyard gets a lot of water it feels like it just rots and at the very bottom they snap and so then you need to take off the, the split rails and redig this hole re-pour concrete put a new post in and then you're good for another 20 30 years actually very similar with the story of um you know story with a, a shed or actually i'm looking at a shed or a house a roof uh asphalt shingles 20 30 years you know a, a, a nice pair of shoes maybe three four five years depending upon how much you uh you walk or what kind of conditions there you're in so we're looking at a big job here uh, a lot of things need to be pulled out new holes dug concrete and set and dried and then rehang the the split rails many times these don't come uh many times these need to be shaved um you might say oh you know that it, it, de it depends upon if these were put every eight foot which it looks in general cases it does uh, but then sometimes you come to a, an end and then the posts are are less than you know eight foot so maybe it's six foot stretch so then you have to shave down you have to whittle down these you have to cut these on an angle so that they fit into the hole it takes a little bit of um carpentry work uh but if you if you choose to do the sp split rail it's a nice way to delineate your property it's not going to keep the dog in the backyard uh it's not going to keep the deer out of the backyard but um but but it's aesthetically pleasing it could keep the horse in the backyard uh, but they do require maintenance and when you when you hit that special year 20 years 25 years uh, there's a lot of repairs and then the ones that we do repair this year there might be another two or three next year and uh, the thing is the wiggle does it does it have the wiggle we got the wiggle going on so the wiggle means so this is okay this seems pretty solid you can see the water damage and you can see the sit standing water we must have had a we did have a rain yesterday so um this is the ins and outs of a split rail fence and maintenance 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 hope you're doing great we pray for you we pray for your prayers for us and we look forward to seeing you on the next video take care